Hello and welcome to Roofs by Gary Willock. Today we're talking about another exterior. Actually, you may have already seen parts and pieces of this with postings in the past. I don't think we've done a video yet of this. This is a complete exterior. We started with the roof, uh, got the roof in good shape. This happened to be a Luisi tile, a wonderful tile, uh, one of the best. In fact, it's, it's probably the very best made in the United States. And uh, we were able to recondition this uh, do all the repairs to the roof, new flashings, uh, all kinds of different things that it takes to really upgrade and make the roof watertight. We've done that and then uh, we did a complete exterior. It actually started with every window in the house had a problem and this is becoming a very, very, very common problem where people just really don't understand the waterproofing process around the walls, uh, the windows, uh, chimneys, uh, dealing with flashing, dealing with water tightness. Uh, of so many different kinds. So one of the areas that we work in is to help people get a watertight house so you don't have leaks and rotting and mold and mildew, which turn into many problems. This is one of the big things that we like to do, but what's really fun about this is the fact that we get to change the house. Uh, I'll throw in a picture of the before uh, of this house so you can see that, but uh, this house has actually taken on a wonderful feel with a contemporary gray that we've gone with on this. Now I want to take you kind of up close and as I walk by this you're going to see that the stucco is very very natural. Let me flip the camera around and get you a little more up close as I talk to you about what you're really looking at here. The stucco has a patina that was the natural patina left from trial marks and the actual work itself. So this is an actual concrete type finish. Now it is a color coat and so it's a specific color of stucco and so it's not just concrete color it actually is a color. We also did new window trims made them very contemporary with the very square trims. Picked a color that is very unique chocolate with a little bit of purple involved and it's a very very unique color. I've never used this before but it matches their front steel door. But if you look at the stucco you see a patina, a character in the stucco that you cannot, will not get by painting the stucco. So I wanted you to see that and even down on the foundation you see it's got that beautiful finish with a nice patina everywhere. So we're going to walk around now a little bit and I've got the guys here. We're down to the final details on this house. After everything else uh, looks so good, you know, you look and uh, you realize, well, we need to do a little bit more. So we're regrouting all the areas that you see in front of me. In fact, it's this entire driveway area. We're gonna be regrouting this uh, all the way down so it all has an even match to it. What you see now is uh, you've got natural uh, galvanized downspouts, uh, a little bit of black wrought iron going on, and we're at the side of the house, and you see how beautiful this actually still looks here uh, as we're walking up through. And I like the actual natural metal with this gray much better than it was with the prior color. But it's actually a fairly large house. It doesn't really look like it from the front, but it kind of goes on and on. I'm going to go to the courtyard now so you see that. <laughs> All right, so this is the courtyard and uh, it is two-story in here and it's got the beautiful gray stucco everywhere and again when you get up close you can see this patina and uh, that's what we were going for now it took us <laughs> i will have to laugh because it took us close to 20 tries of different um, textures and fills before we really nailed it and uh, the guys were very very patient uh, as we did that. From here is just an absolutely wonderful scene. This is what they see from their back porch and they look out into this courtyard area and they're going to be installing more uh, vegetation that was actually taken out prior to this. It had overgrown and taken over a little bit too much but now they're kind of starting over with that and they want this to look very natural, very real and of course the fountain is usually going in. That makes it very nice off today because of the work going on and everybody plugging in at the outlets. But uh, this is uh, what we do with exteriors. I would consider this a complete exterior makeover and um, you know it really brings the house up to date. This is about a 22, 23 year old house and with this new color getting away from that yellow orange that uh, all the homes used to be, uh, it just gives it a whole new feel. 
And that's really what we were after. The Ludowisi tile, we cleaned them up, and boy, do they clean up well because they are such a great tile. But it's an absolutely wonderful project. I'm going in the dark here underneath, a little more of the under roof areas. You can see they've got a screened in porch area here. Magnificent place, and again, the stucco behind with the patina that gives it a nice warm feel. A feel that you cannot get by painting stucco. This is Gary, this is an exterior by Gary Willock. Till next week.